starts to come on way too strong. Well, that was unexpected. All those hearts lay old and that musting, plus some customers just died combusting. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 out of genre TV episodes. Oh, my darling, you haven't aged a day. For this list, we're taking a look at TV episodes that are inconsistent with the show's genre, offering something completely different than usual. You gotta pay the troll toll if you wanna get into that boy's hole. This can include musical episodes, episodes produced in different media, or episodes that have a different vibe than usual. <laughs> Number 10, Stevel, Family Matters. Tonight's episode of Family Matters is a little scary. Family Matters started out as a run-of-the-mill family sitcom, but became consistently more absurd as Steve Urkel took center stage. Feast your eyes on this! <laughs> the show peaked in outlandishness with this Halloween special, where Urkel acquires a look-alike ventriloquist dummy. In a move that's way dark for a TGIF show, the dummy comes to life, dons the name Stevel, and starts stalking and attacking the Winslow family. Good job! <laughs> While it all turns out to be a dream, there wasn't a kid who saw this episode who wasn't horrified by this dancing satanic puppet. Of course, now he's just hilarious. Only I'll do the talking, and you'll be the dummy. Number 9. Changing Channels, Supernatural. Oh, thank you. This episode of Supernatural doesn't just take Sam and Dean to one different genre, but several. Oh, Dean. <laughs> we have some more research to do. It's clear that there's something amiss from the opening scene, as the brothers find themselves in a sitcom complete with lousy jokes, a live studio audience, and a full house-like opening. As long as we're moving forward, there's nothing we can't do together. Changing channels maintains little consistency as they jump across TV land from a procedural cop drama Because I hate procedural cop shows to a sexy medical soap opera to Knight Rider. It's multiple episodes and a genital herpes commercial for the price of one, with all the supernatural elements you'd expect from a Sam and Dean adventure. I've got genital herpes. I try to be responsible. Did I try? Number eight, the rescue mission, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Most adults remember Power Rangers for its colorful action, campy charm, and ridiculous creatures straight out of a Japanese monster flick. You will carry on the work we began. You will be the Magna Defender. Magna Power! This episode of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy takes a grim turn as the Rangers stumble upon the ancient galaxy book aboard a spaceship. It's a book. With dark lighting, sophisticated sets, and a suspenseful tone, the rescue mission feels more like Alien than typical Power Rangers fare. We're inside, making our way to the bridge. Everything's covered in some weird web. It's also notably the show's only episode with no Japanese footage. Seeing how this is Power Rangers, though, it still works in some silly moments. <laughs> Number 7. My Musical, Scrubs. You're the only man who's ever been inside of me. Whoa, whoa, I just took out his appendix. Observed through the eyes of Broadway star Stephanie D'Abruzzo, My Musical delivers a diverse collection of side-splitting songs about the wonder of poo and everything comes down to poo. The difference between Dominicans and Puerto Ricans. Am I freaking Puerto Rican or Dominican? And eternal guy love. Guy love, that's all it is. The musical approach never becomes a cheap gimmick, though, cleverly tying the numbers into a two act structure and a touching story. I'm going to be okay. That's what's going to happen. Scrubs certainly went all out with this musical episode, enlisting composers like Doug Vesterman, Paul Perry, Jeff Marks, and E Goddard Robert Lopez who's now best known for writing a song about letting it go. Doctors, nurses, patients, dead guys, welcome to Sacred Number 
Number 6. Krusty Krab Training Video – SpongeBob SquarePants If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations! You've recently been hired by the Krusty Krab huh? Restaurant and this is your first official day of training. The Krusty Krab Training Video will teach you everything you ever wanted to know about working at this underwater fast food establishment. Except for how to make a Krabby Patty. Can I make a Krabby Patty now? Oh no, you've got a lot to learn before you're ready to make a Krabby Patty. Regardless, this tutorial video caught many young fans off guard as one of the funniest episodes of SpongeBob. Is that for here or to go? Oh. Hang in there, Squidward. It's all part of the job. Capturing all the bizarre humor that made the cartoon's earliest seasons so special, Krusty Krab training video is full of insight about Mr. Krab's rise to success, good hygiene, and how not to be a Squidward. It's a laugh-a-minute load of hoopla. Sounds like a hoopla! Hoopla! <laughs> Number 5. Pretty much every episode, Community. There's also going to be a game of Paintball Assassin. When it first premiered, Community was a sitcom about a ragtag study group at a community college, drawing inspiration from John Hughes. This is kind of like Breakfast Club, huh? We are in a library. Well, yeah, and I'm sure we've each got an issue balled up inside of us that would make us cry if we talked about it. Towards the end of season one, however, Dan Harmon's show went into full-on parody mode with the Paintball War epic Modern Warfare. Put me in the game, because I'll take everyone out. I play paintball three times a week, bro. Since then, Community has turned into an unpredictable satire of popular culture, making fun of zombie apocalypses, documentaries, and stop-motion Christmas specials. And this is the most important Christmas in the history of the universe. I'm assuming that's why we're all stop-motion animated. Unlike some sitcoms that have an out-of-genre episode every once in a while, this cauldron of creativity delivers an inventive new concept pretty much every week. Evil Troy and Evil Abed. Number 4. Queen of Jordan, 30 Rock Don't tell me I can't sing! What the f*** have you ever done? Anybody who's married to Tracy Jordan deserves their own reality show. In Queen of Jordan, Tracy's wife Angie steals the spotlight as she attempts to launch her singing career. Since Tracy is off helping people in Africa, I finally have a chance to focus on me. That is why I'm launching my music career. Angie surrounds herself with countless pets and an entourage of attention-hungry individuals like former call girl Randy and homosexual party planner Defuan. And Defuan is a queer factionist. The regular 30 Rock cast also makes appearances, with gay Jack Donaghy proving his masculinity. Holding all the balls. Okay, I hear it now. Jenna throwing wine at everyone to get on camera, and Frank reuniting with the love of his life. What happened to Frank is awesome. Standing ovation. You don't understand. It was love. We were in love! This out-of-genre episode proved so successful, it spawned a follow-up, Queen of Jordan 2, Mystery of the Phantom Pooper. I think I just solved the mystery of the Phantom Pooper. Number 3. And then there was Sean, Boy Meets World. Why is Sean so obsessed with you two? Like steve -El. And then there was Sean goes to some unbelievably dark places for a show aimed at young adults. Hello? Do you like scary movies? What's your favorite? Taking a page from Scream, the episode finds Cory and the gang locked inside the school with a masked killer. Ah! Since Sean has grown up with classics like Blood in the Showers, the last of the obvious suspects and the killer is one of us. He knows every trick to survive a scary movie. All right, everybody. As much as this goes against my horror movie instincts, I think we should split up. That way the killer can't get to us all at once. This horror-centric episode is full of great meta-humor, surprisingly strong character development, and even a They Killed Kenny South Park reference. Oh my gosh! They killed Kenny! Yeah! <laughs> Number 2. Hush, Buffy the Vampire Slayer A demonstration. Buffy Summers. Its magical world has given leeway for Buffy the Vampire Slayer to produce various out-of-genre episodes, like the musical Once More with Feeling. Let me rest in peace. Let me get some sleep. Let me take my love and bury it in a hole six foot deep. But nothing was ever quite as ambitious or jarring as the Emmy nominated Hush. 
This practically dialogue-free episode derives a ton of inspired humor from its silent movie premise, while also being one of the show's most genuinely creepy outings. Inspired by reviews of the show that said the best part was its dialogue, Joss Whedon did something different, if not only to prove he could. But Hush is ultimately about human communication, amounting to a perfect final scene that will leave you at a loss for words. I guess we have to talk. I guess we do. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The lesser males languish at the edge of the colony, unable to attract their own harem due to age. Harem? I can barely see them! Immaturity. <laughs> I'm scared. Or other reasons. Hmm, I don't know. Does this kelp scarf make me look fat enough? Wanna have sex? <laughs> Well, somehow we wound up in the screensaver. Oh. <laughs> Number one, all Treehouse of Horror episodes, The Simpsons. Hear ye, hear ye. Compared to other animated programs, The Simpsons usually stays grounded in reality. And yet, I'm still not satisfied. However, every October and sometimes early November, the show takes a break from its regular routine with its annual Treehouse of Horror episode. <laughs> Through three twisted tales, The Simpsons plunge themselves into the gothic and supernatural. Thunders! You're the devil! The possibilities are endless, with the specials dramatizing The Raven, parodying The Shining, and sending Homer to the fabled third dimension. <laughs> there have been so many memorable shorts over the past couple of decades that they're worthy of a list of their own. Ah! Happy Halloween, everybody! Do you agree with our list? Oh, I agree. What out of genre episodes took you by surprise? Blood crieth unto heaven. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, let me think it over.